Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I wanted to show you something about logging without using a universal forward, right? Uh, so if you are working in a banking environment or anywhere where there are serious regulations about what can be installed on the server, you might get a pushback from the system administrators when you try to ask them to install the uh, universal forwarder packages. So this is very common in uh, banking industry where let's say you want to monitor core banking systems, right? So they will not let you install the universal forwarder package no matter how much you try to convince them, right? They can give you your first uh, like options where you can tell them about installing that universal folder or you you can use um, network share and push the files out but the chances are because of the um, security of the environment they will not let you do it all right so the one way that you can monitor log files of a linux system without installing a universal folder is by using a package called rsyslog right so rsyslog just means rocket fast system for log processing right so this is a package that is installed by default on all linux boxes right so you don't have to install anything separately it's a package that comes by default so since you're not installing anything or changing anything your system administrators will not give you a pushback because you're not installing anything new on there right uh, so this is the uh, documentation of how it can be uh, how it is supposed to be done so this is the rsyslog web page this rsyslog is installed by default on most of the new uh, linux operating systems right it is a very easy way of uh, configuring logging all right uh, so it is very simple to configure rsyslog so all you have to do is you set up a listener right that listener can be a, a syslog ng box it can be a splunk connect for syslog it can even be a heavy folder right uh, so i wouldn't recommend listening on port 514 on a heavy folder you have to set up a syslog ng box or a splunk connect for syslog and listen on port 514 right so once let's say you have set it up so this is a a very simple setup where I installed a Splunk on a all-in-one box and I enabled uh, port 514 listening on UDP and DCP so this is not the right recommended way to do it because uh, heavy folders are not that great at listening to uh, ports right so you would be better off uh, setting up this listening part using a syslog ng so I'm not showing that part for this video because you can just install it by yourself Right, so I set up two listeners, TCP and UDP. Right, so this part is done, and then what I'm going to do is, so this is the box from which I need to collect the data. Right, so currently, um, let's quickly run a search here. There's nothing being logged. So if you search. So there is no data here, right? So what I'm going to do is, so this is the box that I have to collect data from, right? So all I have to do is go to vi etc rsyslog.conf, right? Uh, go all the way down and add this line. So let me uh, paste in this line. So basically what this line tells you is log everything all right and then action and this is the type you can read what type is all about so this is about forwarding okay, this is your target so the target is the uh, splunk box all right uh, so this is on port 514 protocol udp and this is where action uh, resume retry so let me go back a bit so you, if you're familiar with syslog ng, earlier we used to do like this, star star, so let me just uh, zoom in a bit more, star star, and then IP address, so double at means TCP and single at means uh, UDP, 
right so star star whatever ip and so on so they themselves are saying don't use it any longer because the reason is if you do like this right so if the connection between your syslog uh, your collection box that is your end server and the heavy folder of your syslog in this down it will start dropping events all right uh, so if the remote system is unreachable processing will block here and discard messages so you'll drop messages so this is a better way to do this so let me just explain from here what is happening so this is your ip address port number protocol uh and then resume retry count uh, it will try to connect 100 times on a set interval to this target until um it fails completely all right and then the queue size is 10000 you can uh, customize it to whatever you want so it will keep que queuing your data all right um, before 100 times before it discards your message all right so uh, that is all there is. so let me just um paste this thing in so i pasted it in so i'm going to restart it so this is done and then um system control restart slow uh, or slow that's it so i restarted uh, as long as so if you want you can just tail here just to see far low slow so it's restart no errors nothing is happening here so we are good right and now if you go to index is equal to star we can see events here all right so events are coming in now all right so let us try something Let's do logger. This this is a test message, right? So we got the message, right? Um. So what I'm trying to do is, you don't have to install the Unozel folders. you don't have to do anything you don't have to install any additional package rslog is something that comes installed by default you can use that for collecting data of critical servers critical infrastructures where you need to collect data but you get a push back because additional package installations are not allowed right so this is all you have to paste in you just have to customize the output right to match your environment set up a collection point that should be a syslog ng box or um an r um a splunk column for syslog right and then root your data that's it so only thing is um this box because is a plain setup i i'm collecting it using the normal syslog source type right so once you let's say if you are going to push it into production you can write your own source type right maybe even customize the port to a different port right and then write the source type correctly so that the field extractions and parsing and everything works right nice way of doing it nice way of collection all, all always remember universal folder pack is the best way to collect it because it has its own benefits but in cases where you can't do it this could also be a good option thanks guys so we will speak